think the camera is a little bit lopsided, but never mind. So, welcome back. I think I haven't posted a video in over a month and I just haven't been, you know, had the time to film videos or edit videos. And I did actually film a video like a month and a half ago where it was like a pumpkin um, haul, like, like ceramic pumpkins, not actual pumpkins. Do you know what I mean? Like autumn decorations. Anyway, I did a haul of those and I just didn't get around to editing it. And I probably should have done, but it, I've got my Christmas decorations up now, so it makes no difference now. I'm not going to be posting that video. So I thought that I would do a little vlog and I just find it easier when I'm vlogging just to kind of show what I'm doing and just update you on anything in particular. Not really too much to update on, but well, there probably is, but anyway, um, but I thought in this video I would show you my Christmas decorations and any kind of house updates or anything. And also I'm off to my mum soon. I'm going to take my dog Cupcake with me. You've probably even forgotten who I am and that I've got a dog and everything like that. Um, and I think my brother's making pizzas for tea, so I might show that. But yeah, who knows if this video is even going to be posted, but we shall see. I'm going to head downstairs, just put my little slippers on. I'm actually filming on my phone because my camera's broken. Um, it might have fixed itself miraculously, randomly, out of nowhere, I don't know. But I can't be bothered to even get my camera out to try. So, come on, Keiki. Um, so, yeah, it's dark. She's a bit crazy. She needs a good run around at my mum's. But if I keep looking here and not at the camera, it's because I'm using my phone. So I'm gonna show you a little Christmas decorations haul, tour thing. So as we come down the stairs, there's tinsel, which I kind of like. I do have some Rudolph slippers, but Cupcake likes to chew them. So she's kind of got them now. She's going a bit crazy. Um, but here is the Christmas tree. I'm actually thinking of moving it from there to here and kind of shifting all that along this way, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I've had this Christmas tree for a very long time. My parents used to have it before me for many years. So it is actually quite old. Next year, I think I'll get a new one. We've got this little Christmas rat, if that's what it's called. Um, a few Christmassy bits on here, a little countdown thingy or oh, I might just turn my air freshener off whilst I'm here and a cupcakes advent calendar so that's what she's going to be opening every single day little blanket that I got last Christmas sorry I do need to hoover and then here's some more like Christmassy ornaments little gnomes and things you know not too much not too crazy a little bit of tinsel around there oh and my little stocking that's got a g on it I do want to get more christmas stuff this year so i'm gonna make a trip to b&m at some point and to a garden center that's very christmassy and i'm gonna pick up a few bits this year i want more lights i feel like i'm lacking in lights i've got my christmas tree which has got lights but i want like loads of fairy lights everywhere um in the kitchen in the living room yeah so i will show hopefully fingers crossed if i'm still posting on this channel um a haul of those bits when i get them but I'll just show you a few of the bits that I've got in the kitchen. So I have this stocking here, which is just chilling on the wall in the middle by itself. I've got this really squidgy, soft reindeer thing um, here. Got a few mugs. This one's my favourite Christmas mug. I love this mug. I've got in total 11 Christmas mugs. Just a few kind of things decorated around the house or around the kitchen, should I say. Um, and then I've got a bunch of Christmas mugs. Like some of these are just drying. I had an absolute ton of washing up to do, so I had to put them like this. It's not the best, but you know. Um, so I won't do like a haul of my Christmas mugs, but there's a few here. I think that's a Santa. And you'll see them in upcoming videos because I am going to try and post more. Um, but yeah, that's another one that I like. I take that one to work. And then another couple of Christmas mugs here. I've then also got Christmas tea towels as well. So at the minute, that's all of the Christmas stuff that I've actually got. But like I said, I am planning on getting a few more bits. I think it's good that each year I just get a few more items and I don't, you know, get loads of stuff every single year. I just kind of add to my collection every year. I've lived by myself for like 
five years or something or six years so each year that I've lived by myself I've just added and added and added to my little Christmas collection but I think this year some lights is what is needed. So it is not the best lighting but we're gonna have to deal with it. So a few updates. So first things first, yesterday I actually cut my hair, which was quite a big thing for me because I haven't actually properly like cut my hair like a good chunk off in like four or five years because I have just had the opinion I need to keep it long because that's how I like it and I will regret it if I cut it shorter. Well, anyway, the other day I had the impulsive decision to just cut half of it off really. Um, and it's still long, like it's not exactly short, like it comes to about here. So it's not crazily short, but it is half the length that it was before. So it does, to me, it feels like I'm bald, like I've got no hair. Um, but yeah, I, I like it. It's nice and I don't know freeing it's easier to wash my hair it's easier to brush it as well it's not not um as long but it was quite damaged um to be honest with you and it was damaged because it had been bleached a few times because of the blondes on the end and also just because it's been old like I haven't cut it properly in a long time I do cut my own hair I don't go to the hairdresser because I just happy to cut it myself and I've got hair dressing like quality scissors that I use and I don't actually care like if if it's not 100% level and it's level enough that I don't really notice it so you know it doesn't bother me um and it saves a lot of money over the years I really cannot remember the last time I went to the hairdressers I was probably 12 or something and I'm now 23 nearly 24 um so I cut my hair that's an update um to be honest, I probably don't actually have any more updates. Or well, I probably do, but there's some updates that you don't share on YouTube and there's some updates that you do. Um, Cupcake's not been particularly well. She'd gone through like a patch of being sick a lot. I took her to the vet. Um, she had some med medication. Um, she had some medication for that, um, but she's been all right recently, thank God. Um, but yeah, I felt like I had more to share, but obviously not. Anyway, I'm going to get my shoes on and I'm going to head to my mum's because um, it's quite late and I think Tommy's making pizzas soon. I'm at mum's now making pizzas. Just put mine in the oven. I'll show you when it comes out. Yeah, I don't want to let the heat escape. No. Say hello, mum, you haven't been under here for I a while. I haven't, how rude. Yeah, still alive. Yeah. Yeah, just. Cut the heel. Um, yeah, so Tommy and mum are also making pizzas. Dad's at work or something. Can I just apologize for being dressed like a nan? It's just that it's comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I've not been anywhere today, so who cares? But she yeah. is a nan anyway. Yeah, here's my granddaughter. <laughs> <laughs> she is my little baby girl. <laughs> I love her. Okay, can you stop licking out the dishwasher? <laughs> well, I did give her that pot. Oh, right. Mm. Hey, guys. This is my hair down. I only showed you it when it was up. But this is the length it is. It's actually shorter than I said. To me, you've took about a foot off it. I've took a... What, is that a lot? I thought it's about the length of a ruler. Actually, it's probably it's not half. as much as that. It was here before. Yeah. So roughly half. But yeah. Oh my God, Julie. Still got the colours. I don't think you feed this dog. No, I, you literally put dog food on the floor and she's not eating it because I gave her her dog food before I came out. Mm. She's a, She doesn't need any food. She's just being greedy. Dogs are greedy. If she won't eat the dog food on the floor, it means that she's being greedy. And she just wants human food. Yeah, she does. She wants the nan's food. No, that's why she's been sick. No. Sick. It's cold in this house. It is. Well, you climatise. It's probably too warm in your home. Yeah. It is nice and toasty in your place. Yeah, but say. my place is smaller. And also the radiators only work downstairs at the minute. So, yeah. When are you putting your Christmas decorations up, Mum? Not a bloody yet. Have you shown the people yep, that you've I've got shown yours them. up already? What do you think to that? I mean, my God, I think it's chabby putting your decorations up already. I'm not putting that in case somebody's Why? put their decorations up. I'm sorry, <laughs> but they need telling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
early Yeah, but I do know a lot of people that have already put the Christmas decorations up. Shop, yes, but not even her. I think I, my opinion is right that it doesn't matter. Like, really and truly, like me putting up my Christmas decorations in my house makes no difference to mum or anybody else in their houses. So, therefore, I don't think they should care. It's true, but I just think what the hell? Like, people get so emotional about this topic, and it makes me laugh because why? Like, it makes no difference. And also, like, I'm not telling you, oh, you should put your Christmas decorations up now or you should start celebrating Christmas now. I just happen to have my Christmas tree up in my living room. What's wrong with that? And also, my reasoning for it is, A, it looks cute and nice and Christmassy and I like to experience Christmas for longer, but mainly I get my money's worth of the things that I bought. Well, you could, uh, using those arguments, put it up in April then. I mean, it Well, yeah, but, that, but exactly, and I haven't put it up in April. I put it, if somebody wants to put their Christmas decorations up in April, they can put their Christmas decorations up in April. It doesn't bother me. What's your opinion on people who don't take their decorations down? You know. What? You know, well, them again, the house. if people don't take them down, I probably think, A, you're either lazy, or if they don't take them down because they like the look of them, that's their problem. That's up to them. I don't mind. That's that's their thing. It literally does not bother me one bit. It does not affect me. But some people do genuinely get really emotional about this topic and they actually get genuinely annoyed. I don't get annoyed by it, but I just think, oh my God. Yeah. I like the build up to Christmas though more than the actual Christmas day. So for me, I get excited for Christmas, November and December. And then as soon as Christmas day has gone, to me, it's gone. Literally Boxing Day and everything comes down. My pizza has just come out of the oven and it looks like this. I think that looks pretty darn good. I don't like the crust, like not too much on the crust. I don't really like too much crust. I think I just said that three times. Um, so I'm happy with this pizza. My recipes are very wet dough anyway, so it's not crusty crust. It's a much softer dough. Yeah. I think I do damn good pizzas. <laughs> In fact, I know I do. <laughs> A little piece of cake. We, my eyesight's getting bad, so I'm having to wear my glasses more often. I don't enjoy wearing glasses. I will get contact lenses at some point, probably, maybe. But yeah, my eyes definitely getting worse. Who made you that tea, Mum? Uh, you did, Pooh. I sure did. Thanks. I made myself one as well. We're oh. going to watch some fails. <laughs> oh, my days. I love this puppy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically, Cupcake's still a puppy. She is. That's funny. Right, we're going to watch some uh, Fail Army on YouTube.